Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello there, I'm Dejan, this is Resident Evil 6, I am playing Mercenaries Mode as Chris Redfield on the map, Rooftop Mission. Yeah! Um, Rooftop Mission's part of Map Pack B, if you're wondering, which is a new DLC map pack that just came out a couple days ago. So yeah, there's that. And, uh, so I haven't done this in a while. It's been a couple of months, I believe, since the last one of these. But I'm getting back into it. Now I am a little bit rusty, so don't expect this to be perfect. And I apologize for it being not so perfect. I'm sure it will turn out. I don't know. And uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, it's just been so long, but I've really wanted to play. But I've just been playing other like random games here and there. And haven't really gotten to it. But now I'm definitely back, and I've been having a blast. This map, Rooftop Mission, I love it. Like, I think, honestly, I think this is my favorite map in the game right now. Although, for Map Pack B, I still have not tried Creature Workshop, which is the, the other map that came in Map Pack B. I haven't tried it yet. I decided I was going to play this map a lot. This was the first map on the list, so I played this one first. But yeah, I was like, I'm going to play Rooftop Mission a lot, learn the map a little bit, and, uh, and then maybe if I start to get bored of it, I'll go over to Creature Workshop, that way it will be something like fresh and new for me to look forward to like later in the week or whatever, later on down the line sometime. Because, yeah, I mean, DLC doesn't come out for this game every day, and I play on PS3, honestly, the only DLC they have in the game is maps so far, so there's not any other modes that I can play yet other than Mercenaries and <laughs> Agent Hunt. I'm not gonna mention Agent Hunt though, I don't like it. But, <laughs> nah, it would just be nice to get some other modes. Someday, maybe, who knows. But, uh, yeah, for now, rooftop mission. But yeah, creature hunt. I'm looking forward to that eventually when I get to it. Hopefully that map is as good as this one, because honestly, I really like this map. It's, it's by far my favorite map, I think, that I've played. I do like Steel Beast, though. For me, Steel Beast is such, like, a fluid map, like... There's such an easy path you can take to, like, get all the time extensions, and then even when you're just, like, killing things, it's so nice, like, the way all the enemies come at you and stuff. I don't know, I just really like that map. I think that map's well done also. This map, though, the, my biggest problem in this map right here, Rooftop Mission, is at the very beginning, I don't really know what to do. Like, I kind of run around and get time extensions, but then when it comes time to start killing also, like, there's always a period of time where I'm, like, in between getting the time extensions, where I I can see a couple guys, but I don't really want to start killing yet because I don't want to, like, run out of things to kill and lose the combo. But, yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. I haven't played the map that many times to where I, like, have it memorized yet like that but uh yeah so that's that this map love it and that wow that was a long ramble on i don't even know what so yeah actually last night uh the ex3 costumes came out which if you don't know what the ex3 costumes are you can pick them up on resident evil.net or re net whatever you want to call it uh they're basically the old school looking like polygon PlayStation graphic type thing, like PS1 I mean, of all the characters. Now, for PlayStation games, you had Resident Evil 1 had Chris, 2 had Leon and Ada, and Sherry actually, so all four of those are from 2. And so all four of those guys, all three of those are from 2, and I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Yeah. Anyways, all four of those guys were actually in those games from that era. but. Now we have Helena, Piers, and Jake. Now those guys were never in one of those old school games, so to me, looking at their EX3 costumes where they're like remade in those graphics or whatever, I think it's hilarious. Like, I think they look funny. The other guys I'm used to, like Chris, Leon, Ada, blah, 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 I'm used to seeing them because I've played all those games many times. Um, yeah. So to me, they look normal with those outfits. Like. Leon's in his RPD uniform, and Chris is whatever. Ada looks just like out of Resident Evil 2, in my opinion. And yeah, so like I was saying, all those guys have been there. But then you have Piers. I think Piers looks like, I don't know, Piers' hair looks hilarious in the old school graphics. 
And then the other two guys, they look uh, just weird because I'm not used to ever seeing them. Wow, so that was another, I don't even know, that was a huge ramble session on. Piers looking weird, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, so anyways, those costumes are there. Now you can pick them up, but you can't buy them with the normal re, re net points, whatever. Um, you actually have to use a ticket, which you get from playing the events. You know how re net randomly has events going on? Well, they have specific events sometimes that are that will give you a ticket. And that ticket is used to unlock a costume. You can only use one ticket per costume. So I couldn't go right now and just like spend a bunch of points and unlock every single one of those retro costumes. I actually don't have a ticket at all, so I can't unlock any of them. Because the la the first event, they've done one event so far that gave a ticket. And it was like pretty much right during the holidays. So I didn't play it all then. So I didn't take part in the event. Now for these events, by the way, I'll say, you don't actually have to like come in first place or even like top a thousand or anything crazy like that. As long as you participate in the event, you get a ticket. So you don't have to be like the winner, you don't have to win the ticket. As long as you basically play the game while the event's going on and do whatever the objective is, I think, at least once, then you should be good to go. Now the next one that starts tomorrow is called Neutralize the Threat. It's a... Uh, I, there's not details out yet on exactly what you're gonna have to do, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna involve killing those giant monsters. I don't know exactly what the, these guys are called, but they're those big guys with those big like red organ artery thingies like sticking out of their backs and sometimes there's a shield over them. You know what I'm talking about? They're enormous. They're pretty much one of the biggest enemies in the game and uh, you can climb on them and like do stuff to their whatever and anyways so you kill those guys for this next event coming up I think that's what I'm pretty sure it's gonna be so anyways as long as you kill one of those guys I'm pretty sure this events gonna last like a week or two it's gonna be up for a while it's not just like a day as long as you kill one of those guys you'll get a ticket and then you'll be able to unlock one of these uh, costumes but I'm but you won't get the ticket like right as you kill them I'm sure the event will end and then you'll get your ticket so don't panic if you don't immediately see your ticket show up. Actually, I do remember one more thing about it though. It's uh, the goal of the event will be something that the community has to work together to accomplish. So it's gonna be like a huge number that has to be reached. Like we have to kill 100,000 of those ginormous beasts. Or, I mean, that's not exactly what it's gonna be probably. But something like that, that not just one person can do, but if we reach that goal as a community, like is if, if everyone that's registered for the event and like helping out whatever, blah blah blah, taking part, um, if everyone meets that goal, then I think we get tickets. If we don't reach the goal, oh and by the way, you also get a reward of like points to buy the other kind of costumes and diorama figures and stuff like that. So it's not only the ticket that you get for a reward, you get other stuff too. But uh, so anyways, if we don't reach the main goal of that um, event, I know the point totals are cut in half, so you won't get the full reward for points. Now I'm not 100% sure what that means about tickets, so if we don't complete it, um, we might not get tickets, but don't quote me on that because I really don't know. Maybe somebody else knows um, and can let me know in the comments. Yeah, so if we fail the event, I'm not sure if we get tickets or not. I know the rewards are cut in half, but I don't think we would get like half a ticket. So I'm wondering if we just get no ticket if we fail. Anyways, that's enough about tickets and failing and completing things and working together as a community, which is a cool idea, by the way. I think that's pretty awesome. Um, a minute ago, I did just, I was fighting one of those whoppers, the fat zombies, and when it died, and this always happens to me and I always forget about it, but I want to bring this up real quick right now because it has been a while I did kind of forget like some of the rules but anyways when they die if you stand too close to them I notice it like knocks you off your feet it knocked me down but it doesn't do any damage of course but it's just kind of annoying to be knocked down I don't really know what that is that knocks me down because the guy's already dead I'm wondering if he's knocking me down because like he's just so big like the ground shakes and it just punts me over or maybe like I was just next to one of his flailing arms and that whacked me down or he, that I think he lets out like a, a giant scream maybe it's like a Hulk type scream where it just throws me onto the ground I don't know not a huge deal 
And it actually doesn't even matter what it is, I'm just curious. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, about this map, I wanted to... <laughs> I, sorry about that, I don't know what the heck that was. But anyways, I want to say a couple things about this map, though. I really like this uh, monster set, by the way, with like the zombies and the, uh, the whoppers and all that good stuff. So I think the monsters in this map are awesome. I like them much better than the Juavo maps or whatever, even though Steel Beast, once again, I really like Steel Beast. But, uh, yeah, I do like these guys, these regular little zombies. They're much easier to deal with. They don't mutate into crazy things, and I don't know. So, there's that. But uh, another thing I like about the map is it seems really small. Like, some of those other maps, for, for duo, they're fine, but for solo, they seem a bit big, which is fine, because every map doesn't have to be solo friendly, and every map you can solo in too. But all I'm trying to say is uh, this map is like the perfect solo map, I feel like, because it's tiny. It's really not that big. Like, you can go up on the helipad, which is pretty small, it's a helipad, and then, compared to a map, I mean, and then you can come down here and run around the bottom of the helipad, which also isn't that big. The other maps, I think, are way bigger. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong here, but to me, this map just feels great. Like, uh, it doesn't feel that big at all. So, I really, 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 really like it. If you haven't tried it, I suggest you do try it, because it's pretty awesome. Now, as you can see, I lost my combo. Like I said, Rusty. <laughs> I I did not expect to get a... To, get like a 150 combo right off the bat of coming back to the game and playing it again. So I'm not too worried about it. I'll definitely get back up there though to where I'll be getting 150 combos again. But yeah, for now, let's just kill guys and have a good time doing it. Uh huh. Well, I guess they're already dead, right? So we're not technically killing guys, we're just blasting guys. Look at this guy using the torch. I don't know though. I guess. I don't really know how this works. They're not dead, are they? Because they're just like infected, so they're just like super messed up. Or are they dead? I mean, I know in a normal zombie situation, like in like zombie movies and stuff, they die and come back. But in this game, do they die and come back, really? Or are they just like, is it just like an extreme case of the flu type of thing? And then they're like, oh, I'm a zombie and I'm gonna eat you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know. They're probably dead. I'm pretty sure they're dead. Now these guys, these guys are like, scary. Scariest enemies in the game, for just like regular schmuck bunnies like this. They will kill me in one hit, if they hit me. So let's try to keep away from these guys. Oh, wanted to kill that guy, but I shot him in the armor by mistake. I freaked out, panicked, it doesn't matter. This is about over anyways, look at that timer. But uh... Not too shabby for my first time back for me. I feel personally that I did well. I'm sure some of you out there are like, Oh, this guy sucks. He didn't get a 150 combo. But nah, I'm just kidding. Maybe there's no one saying that. But I, I do pretty good. I'm doing all right. So here we go. Kill this last guy. Get him. Yeah. Oh, let's get one more. Mm, nope. Mission end. Well, that was the end of the mission. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to help me out, you could do so by giving it a like, a thumbs up, whatever. You don't have to, but if you want to, that would be awesome of you. And other than that, just thanks a ton for watching. I'm Deejin, this is Resident Evil 6 Mercenaries Mode. It's great to be playing this again. So anyways, yeah, thanks a ton for watching. Bye.